Welcome to my channel. My name is Attila and this is Mustard Peace. So basically today I feel like I want to make something fun. Something that uh, going to push my skills to the next level and I decided I will make a plate that looks like a single leaf a vine leaf how about that hope you stick around mustard piece so I have a piece of oak ball blank but this one is a little bit thick so I am going to cut it into half on the lathe and then we do a little bit of wood turning on it but mainly carving and I know carving is scary and it's not wood turning but I will show you this is not hard I will carve a fairly realistic three-dimensional plate leaf plate and you will see if I do it step by step you will see how easy it is it is so difficult to mess this one up so if you don't carve because you are afraid well this is not really an excuse so what i am trying to say is that very difficult to make a mistake with this carving that you cannot salvage anymore it's just almost impossible prove me wrong mess this one up prove me wrong you can't if you break it into half then yeah but other than that not really you can't mess this one up <sighs> no one told me art is hard work i think people miss all this one to me See? I mean so far it's fairly easy. Now we are going to cut it on the benzo. Here we go. This is the base. I have a mounting point let's carve it so before I start to carve it I will mark my high point so you want to create a three dimensional shape not just a flat surface so we want high and low points and uh, I want to create some kind of movement in the leaf okay so I want this one to be a high point these two could curve down a little bit I want this one to be a high point like a bridge this one can go down this one high point as well Let's start with the dominator. Ow. So this is very important. 
do not look at the whole picture right now. The only thing you do is just curving those corners either down or up or you create a fold. But if you look at the whole picture right now you will realize this is ugly. I suck at this. I'm never going to make it and I am going to give it up. But if you concentrate on the task, can I curve it down? That's easy. Or can I curve it up? That's easy. Can I make a fold? That's again. It's easy. Just concentrate on that and we go from there. I only use the big carbide wheel on the angle grinder and I already have a shape that is actually not bad and the rest is pretty much just refining it and movement in the piece will give that really nice realistic feel to it. I am going to talk you through how to do this but it's it's not that difficult. I want this, so this is a high point. I want this high point to come here. So I'm going to remove some from here. And I want to make this bit more prominent. So I'm not going to touch any of this here up. I'm only going to take material off here. So basically this heel is going to become a little bit higher. So these here are called extreme coarse carbide carving bits. We are going to use this one. This one is going to give us quick result. Oh I meant to tell you so don't start with carving by carving a piece of oak because you are not going to enjoy that oak is hard hard wood really hard to carve and that's probably going to ruin the whole experience for you to just grab something as a piece of ash ash is easy to carve or uh, walnut is easy to carve anything that is soft i don't know about lime wood and things like that i never I think that might be way too soft for for power carving, but I never, I, ne I have never even seen lime wood before, so can't tell you. But I carve oak a lot. So now let's just make these edges thin and that's going to help a lot it's going to improve the look a lot it might not still probably i mean it's not bad but it's not like what i want it to be but if you look it from this side you will see these big ugly thin edges and we are going to get rid of these and that's going to improve the piece a lot So the next step would be to fix the edges, make it pretty much like a scallop shape or was the best word for it I don't know but do you see the pattern that's what we are going to carve in and that's going to make the design look much much better. So for this one I am going to use one of these dental burl style bits probably going to use this one so the best technique for this just grab it like a carving knife not like a pencil 
and just use your thumb to control it. Okay, done all the edges. It still has to be sanded a little bit, but we will do that later. It's pretty much looking like a leaf right now. So, we are going to make these grooves. What is it called? Veins? Don't know. Probably, we are going to make the veins, and that's going to make the whole thing pop like a proper three-dimensional dry leaf and that's the goal and that's probably the final thing that we are going to do to this and just send it up so veins probably the hardest thing to do but it's not impossible i'll show you so first i am going to do is just go between the two lines and make like a trench like a small trench but I don't want it to be strong just a slightly you can touch it with your finger but it's not prominent everywhere here just go in using the shape of the bit So this sanding bit is really good. I'm just going to use the edges to clean up my cuts. So the last step I am going to do is using a diamond bits on it and this is my sending this so I will be able to clean up these lines with this one easily So the very very last thing I already started to do is just grabbing this sanding bit and just start to push it in randomly and that creates the illusion of these millions of really tiny veins. Can you see it? And obviously I'm going to clean up the back but the video was 15 minutes long I do it off camera and pretty much done show you the final shot it wasn't that bad don't think it was mustard piece for watching.